Hey guys, Cam here from PhoneDog.com and it's that time of the week where we look back at your votes for what you think are the best smartphones on the planet. Over at PhoneDog's official smartphone rankings, you'll see the link just below me here and in the description box. And this week saw the LG Nexus 5 make its way into the top three on the People's Choice charts. And really, I can't blame you. It is a fantastic phone and what's more, it's probably the best value phone on the market. The LG Nexus 5 is really slim, got a good camera, great battery life, it's got a 5 inch full HD display and it's really quick with its 2.26 GHz quad core Snapdragon 800 processor. All the other flagship phones cost a heck of a lot more, in fact you could probably buy two of them for the amount that it costs you to get one LG G Flex. I'm glad I didn't have to pluralize LG G Flex. I mean if you had two of them, like LG G Flexes. Or G Flex I. Sounds like a rapper's name. G Flex I in the house. Anyway, since we're talking about the LG G Flex, it's worth noting that it got zero votes. <laughs> That's pretty terrible. Now if I've had a look at this phone, I've not really had an extensive chance to actually play with it and use it as my daily driver, but I've seen it, I've seen what it's capable of, and although the curved screen is really, really unusual for any phone, still the display is fantastic, it's really sharp, it's got good colour, and it's, it looks like a really good phone, and you can step on it and it will be fine, and probably run it over and scratch it up with your keys and a knife, and it will heal itself. And it's got zero votes. That's like infinity times less than the iPhone 5C got, which got two votes. Two up from last week. So what essentially happened was the people that were voting for the LG G Flex last week decided that this week they were going to vote for the iPhone 5C. Awesome. I would say it's one of those phones that you either love or hate, but I think in the most cases you look at the LG G Flex and you just go, huh? Time to focus on one of our experts. As you know, along with the People's Choice Charts, we have an experts panel. People who are in the tech industry, who writes about it, who review phones, giving their thoughts on what they think their top five phones are, what the top five phones are on the market. And we're looking at Alex Wagner. He's our in-house news machine robot. I mean, seriously, that guy just, I don't know how he does it, but he's magical. This week, his number one choice was the iPhone 5S, and for good reason. He loves the A7 processor, the Touch ID sensor, the camera, and actually it's all around performance, plus the App Store ecosystem, which at the moment, I don't think anyone quite matches yet. Anyway, it's time to round up the top five in the People's Choice charts, and we'll do that right this second. So in the People's Choice charts, in fifth place, we have the iPhone 5S still hanging on to its top five spots, whereas in fourth place, we have last year's greatest phone, which was the HTC One, the original version. In third place, we have the LG Nexus 5, like we previously mentioned, and in second, holding steady, is the Galaxy Note 3. But way ahead, as usual, in the lead is the fantastic unibody, new focused, magical HTC One M8. So on to the experts' choices, and it's mostly unchanged. In fifth place, we have the Sony Xperia Z2. In fourth place is Samsung's Galaxy Note 3, while in third place, the Galaxy S5 is holding steady. The iPhone 5S is still up there near the top in second place, but it's no surprise to see the HTC One M8 is. Number one. One discussion worthy point is the Samsung Galaxy S5. It's still seemingly pleasing a lot of the experts. It's in the top three in the experts choice chart, but in the people's choice it's not even made it into the top five. Have you guys fallen out of love with Samsung? Or at least the Galaxy S range? Let us know. Anyway, I've been Cam. I'm at phone dog underscore Cam on Twitter. You can find me there, ask me any questions, but until next week, this has been your official smartphone rankings roundup. I'll see you again soon.